Jan Logie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. You're welcome. I rise to speak on this Employment Relations Amendment Bill, asking the question, who will benefit from this law? And also, how consistent is it with the government's agenda to increase productivity? It's my position and my belief that this bill will benefit a very few, and only in the short term. And it will make things much worse for many, many more. And it will not help us collectively <coughs> as a country at all. This bill undermines the influence of workers' unions. And that fundamentally undermines the ability of people to join together to help each other create a good workplace, to help each other have decent conditions and better lives. This government has articulated their vision whereby freeing up employers from the restrictions of such negotiations and any pressure to provide decent conditions. You know that by doing that, these employers' profits will grow enough so that they can employ more people. We're told this is going to be good for people in New Zealand because it will create more jobs. This bill is yet another example of the trickle-down theory in action. And at the heart of this the same, is the same justification given for the existence of sweatshops. We're reminded again and again in this world by this government of the global financial crisis whenever we raise issues of equity. And it's almost as if they're suggesting we're greedy to want the poorest people in New Zealand to be able to live decent lives. This bill increases the power of employers and encourages rogue companies to come in and underbid good employers who offer decent wages and conditions. And you can be sure that that underbidding will come from the wages rather than the profits. And this is going to impact on cleaners mostly. Some of the lowest paid workers in this country, many of whom are women, many of whom are Pacifica, the people that this government gives lip service to wanting to improve their conditions. This bill removes the guaranteed meal and refreshment breaks. This bill makes it easier for employers to opt out of bargaining for multi-employer contracts. Our structure for getting industry standards. And in the words of the Service and Food Workers Union, there is not one thing in the raft of proposed changes in this bill that will help New Zealand workers to increase their already very low wage rates. Welcome to the dystopia of the National Party's industrial relations. The national government are failing to share the benefits of economic prosperity fairly because it's happening right now for a small group of people. There are people in New Zealand who are getting richer by the minute in this country and that benefit, that wealth is not being shared. The OECD report out today cited well below average incomes and particularly high pre-tax capital income inequality as problems needing redress. They've highlighted the low levels of people management skills across the business sector as an underlying cause for low productivity. And this bill feeds poor management practice. It encourages employers to see workers striving for better conditions as a pure cost rather than an opportunity for productivity. The Green Party has a much different vision for our future prosperity, and it's a vision based on investment in our people and adding value in terms of the value chain and us getting a greater share of that. This bill 
undermines that brighter future. Uh, point of order, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Speaker, I, I raise a point of order. On